what we want to do is start walking around to people and seeing if they want to purchase something. I will blast you, fool! Yes, of course. All right, if you hear yes and of course, just slightly walk up to them. And then you will see in the top uh, left of the screen what to press. Damn! Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right yo yo it's games and graphics we are back in the building with another gta 5 my tutorial for you and today we're going to be installing respect money power all right this one right here is created by eon shout out to the creator for this one is a paid script or a paid mod so you will need to join eon's patreon in order to get access to the download all right so let's go ahead and jump into what this is all about this is pretty much going to be a ls life alternative all right so it pretty much does what ls life does you can sell drugs but you can do other things as well all right so let's go ahead and jump into those other things first thing is going to be uh the drug trafficking as we just went through just it does the same thing like ls life you can sell to other customers you could even make uh deliveries or whatnot and also the new features it has um, other than LS Life will be the crew management, all right? So you could go ahead and create a crew. You could uh, recruit some crew members. Um, they will have um, some abilities also that uh, you will have to upgrade as they continue to gain respect or um, assign roles, uh, skill development, respect and loyalty, things of that type of nature. And then the next one down, you have your uh, strategic deployment, all right? You can supply and demand. Then you got the coverage in the opposition and the balancing act. And then also next down, you have the gangs and territories, okay? This is uh, pretty much how you're going to gain respect as well, all right? Now inside the territories, you have the territories where it covers that, the realistic population, uh, street dealers, drive-by raids, and you also have some missions, okay? There will be missions across the territories that will be marked with a little white question mark, all right? You'll start to see those once you start to gain more respect, all right? Then it has the controls down here on what to press and when to press it during um even if you're like selling drugs to, to uh, pedestrians uh you will press e on the keyboard on the d-pad press right then you have um, a menu also that you can open up by pressing i on the keyboard or holding the right joystick and d-pad down on the controller you could also use the arrow keys on the keyboard or use the d-pad to switch in between buying and selling with dealers and you could also hold down shift to add five units at once when you are buying from a dealer all right and you have the option to press backspace to cancel a drug sale with a pedestrian now i truly urge everybody to read this full description that you see me going through right here okay so you can get a good idea of it we're not going to read the whole entire thing just skim through it but now let's jump ahead into the requirements we are going to need script hook v scripthookv.net and lemon ui okay we will not be installing none of the requirements although i will leave links to those requirements and there will be videos showing you how to install those if you don't have them already all right so make sure that you check all the links in the description once you have your requirements installed and you have your respect money power downloaded should look something like this on my left hand side i have one download which is the respect money power and over here on my right hand side i have my grand theft auto 5 directory open up and ready to go by this time you should already have a scripts folder if you have your limit ui installed so let's go ahead and open up the scripts folder in our gta 5 directory now that we have that open let's go back to our downloads and open up the respect money power inside that folder is going to be two folders all right the first folder is going to be is going to be for vanilla okay vanilla meaning that um just the game by itself all right um you could also have some other scripts and other mods uh just to let you know ls life will conflict with this so i suggest before you install this to remove ls life if you have ls life installed already all right because it will be a conflict with this script right here 
Now, the next folder that they have is World of Variety. This is a compatibility version, all right? So if you have World of Variety installed, then this is the folder that you want to open up and install the contents from, all right? So since we're just using Grand Theft Auto 5 with just a couple of scripts and a couple of mods, we're gonna go ahead and go with the vanilla folder. So open up the vanilla folder. Inside that folder, we are going to have everything we need. What we want to do is highlight everything inside this vanilla folder. And we're going to drag and drop everything over here to our scripts folder. All right, I already have it as you can see. Once that is dragged and dropped and you have all of your requirements installed, we can go ahead and minimize any other windows we might have open and run the game. All right, now as soon as you spawn in the game, if you press uh, the pause menu and look at the map, you're going to see some colors down here in this area. And this is going to be representing the different territories. The green one is going to be the families. That is going to be the gang that we are already going to be with. Um, in uh, future updates, I think we might have the option to join other gangs, but that will be in future updates. For, so for this one, we could only be a part of the families. So the green is the families and the purple is going to represent the ballers. Then you got this uh, yellow over here representing the Vagos. And uh, this one right over here, I think represents like uh, the mafia or cartel or one of those mafia looking gangs. All right. So as you can see, we have about four different territories. Well, three different besides the one that we're from. All right. So if you wanted to take over a territory, you simply want to go over to whatever color and just start killing gang members. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into the menu that we have. If we press I, I is going to open up the Respect Money Power menu on the left side of the screen. The first option is Inventory. This is where you select and see whatever drugs that you might have. It has grams and it has ounces. Uh, of course, we don't have any right now. We'll have to go to a drug dealer and we will. Now, the option uh, dealing will be the next option. That is grayed out because we don't have any drugs. Once we have drugs, then that will be highlighted. Um, crew will be the next option down. That is grayed out because we don't have any respect or reputation yet. We will build that as soon as we start killing other gang members and taking over territories. Uh, the next one down is recruit. If we select recruit, as you can see, we have about three people, three, uh, three people we can recruit, but it is locked, okay, because we don't have enough respect or reputation yet, all right? So going down will be missions, okay? These missions that I mentioned earlier, if you was reading the full description, um, they will be out once you start to gain more respect and reputation. You'll see little white question marks around the map, specifically in these areas that are colored, all right? depending on um, if you have them all um, uh, taken over or whatnot, all right? But you will see them in this area, all right? So let's uh, go down to the next option in the menu, which is territories. If you select territories, it will let you know the territories that you um, that you have, okay? And it also has the power down there. If you can see the, um, the power progress bar down there is different for certain areas. And if you go down to zones, zones will show you uh, these areas as well, which you can supply and um, have your drug dealers um, supplying that area with drugs, of course. So you only have about four areas right here. Now, let's go down to uh, options, which is the last option in this menu. You have the option to put on territory blips or disable it, enable minimap blips or disable it, uh, put on dealer blips and you can save your progress okay so um after you've been playing for a while and you want to save your progress you can come right here save your progress turn off the game turn the game back on and you will still be at that same progress that you were just at let's go ahead and jump into the dealers okay dealers can be found around the map by these green capsules right here okay it's going to be a whole bunch of them around here um, there's even some up here also, so they're spread it all around the map. The whole entire map is going to have these little green capsules right here, which represents drug dealers. There's about 25 of them. So we're going to head over here to this one right there. All right. Once you're in the area of a drug dealer, just go ahead and walk up to him. 
Once you walk up to them, you'll see instructions in the top left of the screen to press a certain key, whether it be E on the keyboard or right on the D-pad. That's going to uh, have the camera zoom in, then you will see your options to either buy on the left hand side and if you press right on the d-pad or right on the keyboard with arrows it will switch over to the sell side okay but of course we don't have any drugs to sell so let's go back over press right on the d-pad or right in the arrow keys on the keyboard and go back to buy and let's go ahead and explain what is the good products to buy so if you look at weed weed has about well he has about 17 uh, probably ounces or grams of weed if you look all the way down at the bottom where it says the price and then it says profit um, below it now the profit bar is going to have to be in the green okay it's gonna to have to be in the dark green all the way to the right all right that will let us know that we can make a lot of money with selling this product right here that we have highlighted if you scroll down the crack and look at the profit bar on the crack it's more towards the middle okay and it's a different type of color green which means we won't be making that much profit all right you want to make sure that that profit bar is more in the dark green all the way up to the right okay if you go down to meth meth looks way better than the crack did because we can make more money with it the profit bar is way more closer to the right and if you go down to downers at the bottom that one also we can make profit with because it's still in the dark green and it's not too far from the right okay so as you can see crack is the only thing that we should not buy because we won't be making that much money from it so let's go ahead and buy the weed you want to select whatever you want to purchase and as you can see once you select it one time you will see how many units that they have and how many that we just bought so we got five right here we could hold down shift um, purchase as many as we can right there uh, hold on <clears throat> I think it's recording right now <laughs> there we go all right so we can hold down shift and buy five at a time or just keep selecting it until we buy all of um, the units that that person has okay so we got 17 out of 17 I'm gonna scroll down and uh, go to the meth right here and then I'm gonna purchase the meth I'm going to go ahead and keep selecting it until it gets to 14. There we go. And I believe it was the downers. Also, that wasn't that bad. We can still make a profit with that. There's about three of those. And once we're done um, picking or selecting whichever drugs we want to buy, you want to scroll down to confirm and make sure you have money before you buy these. And go ahead and select confirm. And as you can see in the top right of the screen, the money has been taken out my account. And all the drug dealer has left is crack. We could go ahead and press the back backspace or press the B button on the controller to back out of the transaction. Now we can open up our menu, scroll up to inventory, and we don't have grams. We scroll over with the right. Uh, right on the d-pad or right on the arrow key and you will get over to ounces okay and that's what we had purchased from our drug dealer we purchased some ounces and we got 17 ounces of weed um, 14 ounces of meth and three ounces of downers okay we now have the dealing highlighted okay before the dealing was grayed out because we didn't have any drugs now we have drugs the dealing is highlighted so let's go ahead and select dealing and this is how you would go ahead and initiate the hand-to-hand -hand transactions on the streets or deliveries as well okay so what we want to do is um, before we do this we actually want to sell to people that are non drug members okay so if you're going to sell around here in the neighborhood make sure that you're selling on your territory if not and you sell in front of other gang members then uh they more than likely will start to uh, create some type of problems with you like might even you know have drive-bys or you know come up to you try to fight you or just start shooting at you so want to make sure that you're on your turf when you start doing this or you could be anywhere else in the map while you sell drugs all right all right i decided to come over here to um to uh what's this rockford Ave to do the dealing um i opened up the menu went to dealing and then selected everything that i wanted to deal i'm going to take off the orders and just confirm this right here once confirmed what we want to do is start walking around to people and seeing if they want to purchase something i will blast you fool yes of course 
All right, if you hear yes, and of course, just slightly walk up to him. And then you will see in the top uh, left of the screen what to press. And then you will make the sale. Okay, as you can see, I pressed right on the D-pad. I can sell five grams of weed to this person for 50 bucks. There you go. Just sold to him. Yeah, homie, come on. Sure. Now all you want to do is keep pressing right on the D-pad, or right on the arrow phone. keys. Cool. I think it's believe I believe it's E on the um, keyboard, not right on the arrow keys. But you pretty much want to talk to him. It's the same button that you use to you know interact with uh, different you NPCs. Fucking moron. Sorry. See, and if they're not interested in the drugs, they will say sorry or no. And if they are interested in buying drugs, they will just simply say yes or yeah. <laughs> this is pretty cool, though. I, I like this. It's, um, it's in its own lane, uh, pretty much, with the drug dealing, because it's a little bit different from LS Life. I will blast you, fool! Hey, thanks. There you go. So I'm just walking up the street, yeah, homie, come talking on. to people. See how she just said no? All right, guess she's not interested. You can ignore Let's walk me. up a little bit more right over here. Now let's not talk to him. The truth is, what about this lady right here? Are a lie that people believe yeah. because they are See how she said, yeah. All right. We're going to sell one gram of meth to this person for 20 bucks. You got it. Find out more at EpsilonProgram.com. No way, Jose. Okay, these guys don't want to buy, all right? So pretty much it is that easy uh, to do the hand-to-hand -hand transactions. You just, uh, you don't want to be in an area where it's like a lot of people. You fucking moron. Sure. Okay, look. I read she a wants to buy some. Give me Damn! One. There we go. Now while you're dealing, uh, make sure that you're not dealing in front of cops or any type of gang members like this guy right here. Because if the gang members see you out here dealing, like I said, they will try to kill you, yo. That's why I decided to go ahead and just deal out on Rockford Ave. But apparently it doesn't matter where you're at, man. Because, you know, gang members tend to leave the hood and drive around also. See, this guy in this car is a Vagos member right there. So you got to be careful no matter where you're at in um, selling your drugs and whatnot. Make sure that you're not selling them in front of other gang members or selling them in front of cops because, of course, you will get heat and the cops will try to arrest you or they might try to kill you. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to explain these right here also. Now, as you start to gain a little respect by either uh, taking over territories or dealing drugs, you'll start to see these question marks on the map, like I mentioned earlier, okay? So right now, I have a few of these uh, different question marks um, that's on the map right here. And then when you get close, you will see the question mark above the person's head. What you want to do is walk over, and you'll see in the top left of the screen what to press. Press that button. And you will see um, that the camera will zoom in. Look on the left side of the screen. It says Street Hustle. Hey there. Think you're up for a little hustle. How about you slide two ounces of cocaine for me? I'll give you 16 hours to make it happen. Okay. So we have 16 hours to make it happen. And the objective of this is to sell the cocaine. All right. We have an option to accept or decline. In the bottom um, right of the screen, it will say accept or decline. Press the enter key to accept or backspace to decline. I accepted it. And so your mission is to sell all the drugs given to you before the time runs out. After, return to Deshaun to share the earnings as they will take a cut of the profit. Okay. And also, you can still check the missions that you're currently doing. Um, when you have a mission, then the missions will be highlighted now as well inside of the Respect Money Power menu. So when we select missions, it will have uh, the mission that we took, which is the street hustle. And then we'll have the time left remaining for that mission. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, try to take over a territory. Um, let me see. I'm going to steal a car to get over there a little quicker. We are going to hit. Oops. No, 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 no. no. We're going to head to um, the ballers territory, of course. <laughs> Got to take over the ballers. Let's go ahead and head over there. I'll show you how to quickly start a territory uh, war real quick. Okay. 
So remember earlier, like I said, you want to head over to uh, that area where that color is. And over here, we open up our map. This represents the ballers, the purple. Okay, it's going to be uh, this whole area right here. And then you have this area right here also. Okay, so you're going to have to kill enough people to take over this area. And then this area will be a complete, uh, complete different area over here. Still owned by the ballers or whatnot. But um, you will have to, these are two separate areas. Just put it like that. All right. So let's go ahead and start on this one. All right. I'm going to start over here with these guys right here. All right, make sure you got some guns and some uh, some armor and all that stuff, too. There you go. And you see right there at the top of the screen, top left, it said you're in the turf war. Click casualties and rival game members. And at the bottom right of the screen, it has my number of kills and the integrity. The integrity will start all the way up at the top. And you want to... Uh, you want to... Um, Bring that integrity level all the way to the far left. Okay, so you want to bring down that integrity level that's in the bottom right of the screen. I'm not sure exactly how many um, numbers of kills you need to lower that all the way down. All right, look like we got some more ballers right up the street. Gonna do the same thing here. And there you go, territory captured, yo. Bro Street is now under our control. And uh, we'll have a little message. All right, you here? We've expanded our territory, including Grove Street. Our guys are moving in to make some sum. All right, now when we open up our um, gang menu and we go to territories, uh, we only have Forum Drive and Crystal Heights. Now we got Grove because Street. Sure so the more territories that we take over, job. the more of these that will be checked. All right. No. So as you can see, uh, the ones that are already checked, it has integrity. <laughs> it has the integrity level all the way filled okay. up in green for both of these or all three of these. And if you scroll down, it has red integrity level for the other ones that we do not own. All right. So we can continue to go ahead and take over those, those uh, territories right there. All right. As a recruit, now we could actually recruit people, okay? Since we have sold some drugs to build up our uh, respect, and we also took over a whole territory, now we are able to recruit some people, okay? So let's go ahead and recruit uh, Jamal. All right, once you pay for this one, you have recruited your first crew member. Each crew member is rated on hustle, combat for selling drugs, and fighting skills, respectively. All right, and if you um, close out of this, the key indicator to watch is respect, which decreases with each task. Pay them well to maintain or boost their respect, all right? Now, if we open up the menu, after you buy or recruit somebody, you will see this little green dot right here. It will have the name of the recruit that you bought, all right? This one is just uh, right across the street from us, in front of uh, the dollar peel. Let's go ahead and run over to him. One of these guys is going to be, there we go. So it's going to be that guy over there, this dude right here. And this is going to be Jamal. Once you get close to Jamal, you should see a prompt in the top left of the screen. Go ahead and press that button. And it's going to go ahead and talk to Jamal. Now, you have the options to give him a task, drugs, weapons, or armor. When you select armor, as you can see right here, we have the option to give him super light armor, um, light armor, standard armor, um, heavy armor, and very heavy armor. And if you look, um, if you look right below his picture, you will see the armor bar flashing that will let you know um, what armor that you have highlighted, how much that will fill up his armor bar. So the one that fills up his armor bar completely is the very heavy armor. Let's go ahead and select that, and then you want to scroll down to buy for uh, 2,500. And then that's going to buy him a very heavy vest. Now let's go up to weapons. Okay, he is unarmed right now. We can scroll down to give weapon and select a weapon that we would like for him to have or think that he should have. Um, we'll give him a micro SMG for right now. Once you have this selected, go ahead and press it. 
and as you can see the current will change from unarmed to micro smg or whatever weapon that you have assigned them all right so let's back out we got uh we got him armor we got him weapons um if we want him to sell drugs we're gonna have to select drugs and then select give all right now we have the option to give him some grams or ounces to sell all right i'm gonna go ahead and give him some uh ounces of uh ecstasy to sell right here all right and i'm gonna give him all nine uh i think ounces i'm gonna scroll down once you have made your selection of what you want to give him scroll down to the bottom and select confirm that's going to give him those drugs okay so you also have the option to take drugs from your dealers or your people that's working for you as well now let's go back to the main uh, menu for this guy right here and let's go to task it's on idle right now if you select task you have two options to have him deal or have him follow you all right so let's go ahead and select follow and after you select follow or deal you will have to pay this person okay make sure that you pay your guys well um, I'm going to put it up to about 30 right here and then I'm going to select confirm all right so now that that has been confirmed is, is, is that good or do I need to give you more now 30 is about the most all right so let's see if he starts to follow me or if he's just going to stay idle there he goes okay so now he's following me um, what I'm going to do is put him in the car That's crazy shit So, once you have an area that you want him to stay at, let's see if we can get him from around the car. Alright, so if you walk to him and you might not see the prompt to uh, talk to him, go ahead and open up the menu, um, select crew, and under crew you will have your crew members, okay? And since we only have one, which is Jamal, let's go ahead and select them. And now we could go to the task, select task, and now we could select clear to uh, to clear, you know, that task, and he'll be on idle. And now we could go to deal. All right, select deal, and the region that we want him at um, is uh, Davis. So we have uh, some options. Also, you could put him in Davis, uh, Rancho, Strawberry, uh, Chamberlain Hills. And then back here at Davis. All right. So uh, let's see. I'm wanting them exactly right here, but I guess I'll leave it on Davis. We'll give him about a 30% cut and select confirm. And there we go. All right. Once we select the confirm, um, it looks like we have a supply of 98% coverage, and the opposition is just a little bit below. All right. Once that is done, we could press the back button to back out of this. Um, you could pay him some money also. Um, you know, like, especially when you start to earn more money and stuff like that, you want to come by and uh, make sure that you pay, you know, your uh, your crew members. All right. So exit out, exit out, exit out. And we're going to jump back in the car and he's going to stay right here and just deal. OK, and we can check back on him in a little bit to collect some money and pay him as well. All right. Oops. Hey, you just turned this into uh oh, a <laughs> like it was a game member right there. But um, yep, that is pretty much it. This will get you going. Um, shout out to the creator Eon. I do like this. Um, this will be another um, alternative from just you know walking around and selling drugs. Now we can have crew members. Um, we could do orders as well as drugs, take over territories, um, and give tasks to our crew members. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be more neat, more neat features um, in the near future. All right. So uh, we're going to end it off right here, yo. But if this helped y'all out to install it, or if you just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding GTA 5, y'all. This game's grabs me and be balling as Frank. We are out of here. Till next time. Years old, man. The fuck you think? All right, homie. I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers.